All right, so let's say you wanted to have people be able to choose from a list of options, but it's too many options to actually put directly on the page because it would take up too much room. For instance, let's say I wanted to fill out a form or have them fill out a form where they chose the state they live in. So there are 50 states. If you had to actually do a radio button with all 50 states, it would take up a huge part of the form. So instead, what we can use is something called a list. Now there are two different kinds. So if I click on type over here, you can see that there is a combo box and a list box. And here's the difference. A list box is when you have multiple things in that list, but the person can actually select multiple things in that list. This is a little bit harder and one I don't often use because it's actually not used a lot in forms. And so we're not used to it. And so people don't know that they can select multiple in that drop down list. So instead, what we usually use is a combo box where you can choose one of many options. So again, think of that example of 50 states. So I'm going to go ahead and choose combo box. And this is where we're indicating um, whether or, not, or what their first choice field trip is if they want a chaperone. So I'm going to come over here and put chaperone first choice. Again, remember you need a unique name for every single field. And then what we're going to do down here is say, please click your first choice option. And we don't need to make this one required, but now we need to add some list items. So the first one I always list is like a generic choose one from the list. So that if somebody didn't want to choose one, then, or they didn't really care which one they went on, they could just leave that option. So I'm going to say choose one from this list and I'm going to hit the plus sign to add it to the list. So now if I come up here, I can do Denver Zoo and then add it and Natural History Museum and then add it and then Arvada Center. Oops. And the one thing I've noticed is I'm not able to edit these, so it's kind of annoying if you misspell something, you have to just type it again. But at least you still have the ability to delete things. So I'm going to do Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add this one. Now if you wanted to delete something, you can come over here and hit delete. If you wanted to change the order of something, you can just click and drag to move it where you want it to go. But that puts all of my field trips in there and also choose one from this list. You could, if you want to say, I don't want to volunteer and add that for anybody who's confused about whether or not they have to answer it. And then you can also put, and then you can also put on there one that says, I don't care which one I'm volunteered for. So we'll just leave it like this for now. And that's the basics of creating the list. So then what's going to happen is when we actually preview this um, in Adobe PDF form, we're going to go over here. There's going to be a little drop down menu. We're going to click it. It'll first say choose one from the list below. Then we click it and then it'll have a list.